What's up everyone, Ryan here and I'm back with another NHL 24 Be A Pro Career Mode Series video and today we have a matchup between Ryan Gamer and the Chicago Blackhawks versus the Pittsburgh Penguins. Uh, so this is a big matchup because many of you already know if you watch this series, I'm a Penguins fan in real life and my favorite player is Sidney Crosby and then you have Ryan Gamer here, if you've watched this series you know his mentor throughout some of the season has been Sidney Crosby, especially helping him with his passes. Uh, so now, Ryan Gamer gets to face off against one of his mentors in the NHL and his favorite player, Sidney Crosby. You love to see it. And this Chicago team is on a two-game win streak, and we need about a 10-game win streak in order to make a push to the wild card. So right now, we're sitting with a record of 22-29-2, 27th in the NHL while Pittsburgh on the other side is sitting 19th in the NHL with a record of 24 18 and 7. Ryan Gamer in 53 games played has scored 25 goals 34 assists that's 59 points and right now is up to 79 overall an incredible rookie season. The big thing for Ryan recently though especially over these past two games winning these past two games it's been defense we've actually been focusing on defense believe it or not and we find we focus on defense we win hockey games so that's what we've got to do today we've got to focus up we got to get out there play defense then offense will follow Thank you all for all the support on this series. I usually post these videos on Saturday mornings. I'm ha still having a blast each and every week on this NHL series. But there is plenty of other career mode series on the channel. We have eight ongoing career modes at the same time. So if you like career modes or you like sports games content, this is the channel for you. Drop a like if you get some enjoyment. Subscribe for more. And let's play some hockey tonight in Chicago versus the Penguins. It's going to be a tough game to win. But if we win, that's a three-game win streak, and we're well on pace for that 10-game win streak I mentioned a couple videos ago. Ryan Gamer versus his mentor, Sidney Crosby. Hockey night in Chicago. Let's, let's dominate. Hey, I'm feeling good today. I got a fresh cup of coffee right here. Get your coffee, whatever you're drinking. Cheers, everybody. Let's play some hockey. James Sabalski for EA Sports. Welcome to the Windy City. I absolutely love it here in Chicago. Great hockey atmosphere, and the Hawks are ready to take to the ice. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. The Penguins win the opening faceoff, and we are underway with this one. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Okay, Latang just. That was Quinzel. He just crushed Ryan Gamer. Here's a short pass to Severson. Too much traffic in the lane. Angles it over to Latang. The Penguins will play it from the defensive zone. And now it's over to Gensel. Ryan got him back. <laughs> yes. Why did he pass that? I did not call for it. There, Cheryl. Yeah, and a lack of confidence as well, James. When you're in all alone, you have to know exactly what you want to do, and you have to play with authority. That was a good shot. What a shift. We were playing electric, good defense, Lots good transitions. Period. Pittsburgh better scores. watch out. And listen, Ryan's not going to hold anything back. You know, he may not hit his mentor too hard, Sidney Crosby, but he's not afraid. I wish we would have got drafted to the Ping ones. Imagine being on Malkin, Crosby's line. That's a dream right there. Pittsburgh's got possession here in their own end. And now he moves it to Heinen. Feeds it down low. It would be cool if the if Chicago traded us and they traded us to the Penguins. Could you imagine? Tremendous agility there by Anderson. What a fantastic save from a high danger scoring area, James. And I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Come on, team. The Penguins play along the boards. We had three players there ready to make a play on it. Look at this. Look at the penalty minutes. Both of these players are incredibly impactful. They can really read the temperature and pulse of the game, and they have the ability to change it, James. So who's going to swing the momentum in this one when it's needed? That's what I'm looking out for. Turned away. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Frederick. 
Goaltender hangs on for the 152 penalty minutes. How many fights is that? He's not used to it. At least 20. Listen to some advice, but at the end of the day, it's just going to be one that ricochets in that'll likely break the streak. Pittsburgh's won the draw. This is the one game where Ryan will not fight unless the game makes us. Absolutely stunned. What a stop. And these fans are still buzzing about what we just saw. What a save that was, Sheriff. Yeah, he made an incredible save and really engaged this. Coach, I'm not leaving. You're going to have to pry me off the ice. Okay. I'm leaving now. You also want to play for them. We almost scored that. But yeah, this is the one game where Ryan will not fight. There's not a player he does there's not a player he dislikes on this penguins team, so we will not be fighting unless the game makes us. We almost scored there. Wow, we're playing great hockey. Good solid check and he loses control of it. Keeps the hold of it on the play. Takes the feed. And that breaks off a stick. Probably should have pi passed that, right? Charging? Maybe. Depends on who you ask. Well, you can see him shaking his head and arguing with the official. Depends on who you ask. Elbowing. You throw that bottle, Ryan. Oh yeah. Crosby's got that beauty back. You can't argue that one. Watch, watch the argument. Ryan Gamer's upset there in the penalty box. What? I was not trying to do this. I'll be honest with y'all. I was just trying to put the hit on him, you know? I was just trying to put the hit on him. Nothing fancy. I'm not trying to be dirty against the penguins at all. But, like, I'm just trying to put the hit on him. And... That's an elbow. That's like a punch right to the neck. Ryan, what are you doing? <laughs> Did we just get a two-minute minor for that? That is a brutal hit. I was not trying to do that. I promise you all. I was just trying to do a light hit, you know, into the boards just a little bit. But Ryan, the Punisher, had a different idea. He goes to the elbow, punches him right in the chin. That is brutal. Okay, I'm gonna pause the video, take a couple screenshots, and we're gonna have a long talk with Ryan after this one. So, you know what I think it was? I think Ryan Gamer, from his professional golfing career, he's watched too much of the movie Happy Gilmore. And I think Ryan thought he was Happy Gilmore here. This looks like a Happy Gilmore type hit. <laughs> oh my, Ryan, settle down. Have a seat, Ryan. Have a seat in the penalty box for that one. You deserve it. Ryan's known for his spinorama zone ability, which he uses to shake off defenders. I'll be watching these two players to see if one of them can really shine for their team tonight. Guys, back to you. There's the buzzer. 20 minutes in the books. Second period just around the corner. Is that a 0-0 zero, zero first period? This defense, ever since we started trying try on defense, we've been playing a lot better. I, I always tried on defense. Don't get me wrong. I just didn't know what I was doing half the time. There's a difference. <laughs> I was trying. I just, you know, was trying to get hits. Clean sheet of ice. Period two is set to go. They still got a minute left in the power play that Ryan calls. Good view from the penalty box, though. Oh, never mind. We're back. I thought it said a minute. We got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Penguins have generated a ton of offense in terms of shots, James. I mean, they have the majority of them, but the goaltending duel at both ends has been incredible. They have yet to put one on the board. Quick pass to Good hit. They put the puck into the offensive end. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Dishes it to Latang. From along the boards, moves the puck ahead. Pull oh, beautiful by Jones. What? They gain the zone from the left side. He hit him. Come on, team. We gotta get something going. 
And he slides it quickly Danger, to Alton. And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Pittsburgh's got the puck in the corner. Here's a shot. That almost went in. Wait, why did he pass that back? What's he doing? Scores! The captain delivers! Our teammate just got a good assist to Sidney Crosby there. What a pass. A shot off the most coveted Whoa. area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. Our team, okay. We're going to do another replay breakdown. This was kind of embarrassing. You know, let's watch this. What happened here? So that shot was a block by the goalie. Yeah, right off the blocker. What a save. And then he kicks it, gets it. What are you doing? Pass that right ahead of you. Who was he passing that to? Trying to get fancy? To who? It would have went to Sidney Crosby either way. Look, that pass is going to Crosby regardless. And then what a play. And that's just an easy goal for Sid the Kid. He's going to make that all day, every day. The Penguins deserve a lot of credit here breaking through with the first goal. They didn't get frustrated. Welcome to the game here, Chicago so hockey, everybody. <laughs> because they've had an effective game. I like the way they've played. They've been aggressive. They've hounded pucks. Mm -hmm. They've had the majority of shots, and they finally capitalized. Okay. We got this. That's a bold strategy to just, just throw it. Throw it to Sidney Crosby there. He actually it got stolen by good soul. Yes. Casually telling life stories and scoring goals. We got it back. Look at Ryan. Yes. He's fired up. No surprise there. What a pass off the pads. I'm surprised I was able to make that play because I'm just sitting there telling live stories, talking about the previous play and just casually skating into the right position and scoring. <laughs> well, a conversation here on the bench between the coach and the rookie and give us a sense of what that conversation is. Yeah, what, what's the conversation like? well, we going need on? Something. That's what it's like. We need something. And that's the message that the rookie's going to get. Listen, you got young legs. Get them underneath you and be first and aggressive on the puck. I mean, this has been a real complacent game. It's been flat in all zones, and they got to find something, a spark plug, and the coach is leaning on the rookie. Well, she's not wrong, but why? We, we just scored a goal, and immediate coach comes to us, like, up the pressure, Ryan. I'm telling you, our coach hates us. He, that might have to do with the penalty minute. Somebody pointed that out, I think, last week or the week before. Where it might have something to do with Ryan's 150-some penalty minutes <laughs> or lack of defense. Yeah, you're not wrong. Yeah, coach, I got you. We'll swing the momentum in our favor. Look, coach doesn't say good job for scoring the goal or anything. Just like up the pressure, Ryan. Wake up. 1-1 one, one hockey game. Oh, we got to watch that play. Don't you all worry. So the reason we got to watch it, because this is the pass that Ryan has been trying all season. Some of you might say, well, Ryan, have you been trying that or have you just been missing your shots? No, I've been trying to bounce it off the pads, just like Johnson did there. And right to us, right on the back end, read that beautifully and just sent it in center net. That's how you play hockey, everybody. What a pass by Johnson off the pads. That's a Sidney Crosby pass right there. And then Ryan Gamer grabs it and just whips it in. Ryan has a goal. His mentor, Sidney Crosby, has a goal. Who is going to have more points? Ryan Gamer or Sidney Crosby? I'm going to take a few screenshots here, and we're going to win this hockey game. You know, I'm always so impressed with goalies, though. Like, imagine the flexibility you've got to have to do this. And, like, get in those positions and not pull every muscle in your body. Like, like I play goalie for one play, and I get in that same position right there. I'm out for the season. Like, I'm probably going to tear my groin both of them instantly. I'm gonna. <laughs> it's, I'm just gonna have a torn hamstring, torn groins, like you name it. I'd probably experience it in net. Uh, so I'm always so impressed with the movement of goalies in real life. It's absolutely insane what they do. 
Wow. A butt. That is a 1-1 hockey game. Let's win. It's a tie game. And they win that draw at center. He grabs the puck here at the point. And now it's grabbed by Raquel. And a quick save on that one. Come on, team. The Blackhawks move the puck in the defensive zone. The Penguins have it against the wall. Looking for space. Wake up, Ryan. Not Darrell, but keeps it going. And a smart hits up play to put that away by. How did we not end up with that? Quickly over to Granlin. Back to the blue line. Here's a back. Good hit. Slick work with the glove by Anderson. Wow, I love hockey. Time is so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Glove goes up, makes the save. Let's go, Hawks. Let's go, Hawks. Come on. To every game, I've said this a lot. Every game needs home foot advantage or home ice, whatever, home court, like college football 25. It has the best home foot advantage momentum composure system I have ever played. And it's not even close. Good poke check, but wasn't able to get it. Bluger's got the puck. Good play. Come on, team. Okay, I'll remember that hit. Chicago's got it. Carter. Great pass from the left wing up the middle now. He almost snuck it in there. A good sneaky shot. Tried to go five hole. Good stick save. Quick feed down low. Picked up along the wall by Crosby. Great reach with the poke check by Murphy. That's what Latang does. I mean, you give him an open space, he's going to score on a slap there. You got to step in front of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now, it's on Terrible defense by number 90 there. And then number five as well. What? Pittsburgh's taking a one goal lead here in period number two. Yeah, now it's about not sitting back, not saying, hey, we've got a lead, we're going to protect it, but being aggressive and trying to go after Our more. fans are trying to get this team fired up. You love to see that. Need a little bit more energy from this Chicago team. And 3 1. Oh, no. Here in the late going of the frame, Pittsburgh's got a two goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Four minutes left here in the Talking second period. We've got to get some goals. Chicago's got a hold of the puck now. Quick feed to Johnson. What a pass. Oh, he just puts it wide of the net. Passed up ahead. Down the left wing. They okay, that's a big time hit. Center and feed. And that's blocked in front. A chance right in front. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by the Smith. Shoot it. You have to be quick in your crease if you want to be able to deny low zone shots. He does that perfectly as he's tight to the shooter right there. They go on the attack through center. Chicago's got the puck. And he takes the feed. Moves it to Ryan. Great boat check on the reach. Scooped up along the wall by Johnson. Great glove save. What a what a glove save. That was fantastic. We had full pressure too, so our coach will be happy, but but his team's playing extremely well, and that's why they have a comfortable lead. Their goalie was all the way down. We couldn't get the score. He didn't rip it. He was all the way down out of position. All he had to do was snapshot it. Just a nice little rip shot at the net. And he didn't shoot. He passed it. Oh, no. You think Pittsburgh is trying to get Ryan Gamer on their team? We need somebody with that energy. Into the corner now. And it's a quick pass to Joseph. Oh, what a save on the slapper. Somebody took a shot right there at that block shot. Running the thigh. Pittsburgh's had no shortage of scoring opportunities tonight, and they have capitalized on plenty. Well, so much for the win streak. You never know. If they could score three goes in one period, so can we, right? In theory. Oh, what a play. Nice zone entry from the right side. Along the half wall with the puck. 
Offensive turnover. That's a turnover, coach. No wonder we're losing hockey games. Our coach doesn't even know what a turnover is. Now a quick pass to Heinen. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the wall. Takes the rack but still hangs on. I'm just going to sink down in my chair a little bit before the next period. Here on EA Sports, and we got the third period coming at you in moments. 34 shots to 21. What are we doing? 21 hits to 21. We'll take that. Passing is amazing. We get crushed on faceoffs. Always. It doesn't matter who we play. The Pink Ones are great at faceoffs and showing tonight. 20 to 7? Wow. Ryan Gamer might as well play center. I'm terrible at faceoffs. <laughs> It would be 28 to nothing. Here for the start of the third. third period underway here. This has been a total squash to this point. Well, with two periods, what a poke check. Good job, Ryan. Chicago's right where they should be in this game, behind James. It's been earned because they've been scrambling in their own zone. They've been disjointed and disconnected, and they haven't had any puck possession. When you don't have the puck on your stick, you can't generate any... I tried to pass it. He's open. I tried... Got hit right before it. Great use of the stick here at center ice. Moved up ahead here in the neutral zone. The Penguins will play the puck. From Good play by Latang there. He read that to here perfection. Pittsburgh's got the puck against the half wall. And that one's Crosby five. makes that a lot. I this can't believe he missed it. A face off after the goalie covers up. Well, uh, can somebody drop your one times? You say them out loud. Say them out loud. Call in the birdie train. The birdie train. This is a golf. No wonder we're losing the go train. <laughs> is Ryan Gamer looking for birdies out there? No wonder he's losing. He thinks he's playing golf. What a hit. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Pittsburgh's been the better team, and the scoreboard shows it. 4-1 is where we sit. Slides it to Ryan. Paints the zone along the right wall. That was beautiful. What a deke. That was fantastic. I wish he would have passed it back, but I think that was, that was amazing. the third period, they have been the far busier team offensively tonight. And with the two tied up off the face-off, a great read to grab possession of the puck. Steps inside the attacking zone down the left wing. Here's a short pass to Ryan. And now he moves it quickly to Johnson. Not yet, coach. And the puck okay, away I'll leave now. He is so dangerous when the puck is on his stick in the offensive zone, but he tries one too many moves and he loses the puck. Team, can we do something, please? This, I'm telling you, this team this season... We look like the best team and then the worst team. We look like an average team and then a terrible team. We look like a good team and then the worst team in the NHL. So it's like we're all over the place. No consistency whatsoever on this team. Same thing with Ryan Gamer. And loses possession after a solid hit. And he sends it across to Smith. And he takes the dish. There's Ooh, the that's a penalty. Yeah, I'd say. Y'all you you heard my dog in the background, Andy. Andy's like, Andy's like, yeah, it's a penalty right there. He's upset. He's upset at the refs. The Penguins once again send out their power play unit. Power plays more time and he's the booing the refs is what she's doing. I agree, Andy. Exactly I agree, boo. Working on it in practice. Spoke to some of them earlier today at the pregame, and they talked about the execution and the precision in particular. This is embarrassing in front of our home fans. Anderson's gonna hang on to the puck for embarrassing. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Well, one team sure came to play tonight. Got to pause the video. There might be somebody at the door. It might be why Andy's barking. Maybe she's not booing the refs. I mean, she must have been booing the refs. I didn't see anybody at the door, so I don't know. She must have been very upset. 
Or maybe she's booing the Chicago hockey team. I don't know. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Quick pass to Jones. Receives the pass. Ryan's got it against the boards. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. The Blackhawks will play it from the corner. Taken along the wall by Ryan. Made the save on the Almost play. snuck that in. Did you all see Ryan run right through that defenseman and didn't get called for a penalty? Did you all see that hit? Picks off the pass in the defensive zone. Chicago's in now. Moves it quickly over to Yes! What an assist! What a play! Let's go, Chicago! Well, it certainly makes the deficit look better. And listen, there's a huge mountain to climb here, but that's the starting point. If you want to be able to claw your way back into this one, you got to build up. What a snipe! Well, Another assist from Ryan. Well, one goal and one assist, another point. Beautiful, beautiful snipe. Look at Ryan Gamer, 61 points as a rookie. Slowing down here tonight as they continue to lead by a wide gap in the third. Puck has dropped and we are back underway. Good play. One goal at a time. Why are we getting so fancy? It was open. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. Moves it to Latang. Our teammate has to make a better Pittsburgh decision there the after that the hit. He's got to get that puck. Here's a chance in front. He scores! What a play! Well, the goal of the season, I think we've seen from Evgeny Malkin. Well, he fought for position to Gino looking like, James, looking like estate, he always does. Oh, my. That's what Gino does. Wow, what a goal. That was the smoothest deke we've seen this season. He deked our goalie out of his pads. Or I guess out of his skates. What? I mean, you can't really be too mad at a goalie for that one. Put Ryan Gamer in net during that goal. See what happens. Pittsburgh's on the attack. Back to the point it goes. Oh, and he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. To be fair, even me in net, I would probably allow seven goals. So that's not too far off what our goalie has allowed. <laughs> no, I would allow 15. There's a video on the channel if you want to see me playing goalie. I don't recommend you actually go back and watch that video, though. You have to go way back. It's hard to find. And it's embarrassing. So it's best if you just don't watch it. <laughs> you want to see why my online hockey club does not allow me to play goalie more than once a year in the EA Sports Hockey League? That video will show you why. Crosby's had an excellent night, James. He's going to take home the award. Why? Because he's jumping off the page. How many times have we said his name? Because he's creating all over the ice. Look at his point production. Look at the puck on his stick. He's doing it all out there. He's making a real difference. Turns it over. Drives to the paint. Big time stop. That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but his team has to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Those high danger scoring chances eventually go in. The Penguins have it now. Quick pass to Ruda. Looking dangerous as they move. I agree, Andy. I agree, girl. Boo. Boo. <laughs> what, that's what Andy's saying back there. Like, what am I watching? Is this hockey? <laughs> no, it's not hockey. I don't know what it is. We're not playing hockey. He's got a hold of it against the wall. Tries to get it to Gensel. The Blackhawks take possession in the defensive end. Nice zone entry from the left. Offside. Have a seat, Ryan. Reset. Los Angeles comes up next on the schedule. You know, much like this fan base, they also travel well. Should be a fun one. I'm looking forward to. I can to tell it. you one thing. Jerry is going to have a long talk with this team after this game. He's going to have a long talk with the goalie. This entire defense. Jerry's not going to be happy with this team. I wouldn't want to be in that locker room. 
you can put that W as a capital. Well, it's almost as if their opponent were defeated before the game started. I mean, you can see it in the warm-up, just in their body language. She could see it in the warm-up? Oh, with no. a ton of confidence. They didn't give their opponent any opportunity to get life in this game. Hope you had as much fun as we did bringing you the action here from all of us at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski. Peace. <laughs> that was such a beautiful goal. Gino went in there, forehead, backhand, whipped it in. That was phenomenal. Oh, coach, I've learned one thing. We need to be on another team. There's one thing I've learned about our coach is he just, he's against Ryan. And no matter what Ryan does, a couple points on the night, he, he's, he's leading the team and goes... No matter what he does, he does not impress our coach. Our coach, you know what it is. Our coach wanted Connor Bedard. Our coach is still mad at our GM for drafting Ryan Gamer over Connor Bedard. Uh, so that's why. It's just he, he holds that against Ryan. And we may get traded. We may get traded. We're going to talk to our agent after this game and, and see if there's a, a fit to where we can go to a team that has a chance to make the playoffs. Our coach just doesn't appreciate Ryan Gamer. Just doesn't appreciate it. Seven shots, five hits, two point night. Tyler Hall had a good night. Tyler or Taylor? I think it's Taylor, right? I think I always call him by the wrong name. And B minus overall is not bad at all. A minus offense, C minus defense, you know. Target of target of C plus is a stretch for Ryan Gamer. A team play B minus. We played well, honestly. That was a good hockey game, but you know what was not good? Well, the final score. So, yeah. There's that. <laughs> Let's move on. Hey, that's tough. You know, you want to win every single game. We, we're on a two-game win streak, but this team has no consistency. That just shows right there that this team has no consistency. We can play so well that first period, fall apart in the second, and then continue to fall apart the rest of the hockey game. Good news is we moved to number two in the shootout. That is awesome. Uh, now, if you go to a new game, if you go to a new team in this series, do you keep your line scores? Like, do you keep this stuff, the line score? Or does that all reset with the new team? Because that would be unfortunate if uh, if you do get traded and then you actually can no, you, you can't go, you know, or we might not be able to get traded. I think it's too late. I think we're past the trade deadline, so never mind about trading. I'm about 90% sure we are past the trade deadline. Not about 90% sure. So we cannot be traded. The Ride Gamer will be stuck here at the Chicago Blackhawks. I believe. I believe the trade deadline is up. When is the trade deadline? Is it right? Is it February 15th? Oh, it is. So it's saying that trade deadline is today. That game. But technically, couldn't we still get traded? Or not? What if we advance? What if we sell the next game? Would that work? No, I don't think. Yeah, we can't be traded now. Okay. I guess I should have hit that button just to see. I've never hit it to see what happens. Uh, but so, yeah, we'll be on the Blackhawks still for the rest of the season. Can we make the playoffs? Well, miracles can happen. So I guess it is possible. We need a miracle, though. We need a miracle. We're 22, 30, and 2. Ottawa's 25, 22, and 3. 23rd in the NHL, and we're 30th. That's the next matchup, and we've got to go on a huge win streak. I mean, we just saw the calendar. We do not have easy hockey games coming up. There are not a lot of easy hockey games coming up, so we've got to basically win out if we are going to make the playoffs. But thank you all so much for watching this video to the end. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. I usually post these NHL episodes on Saturday mornings around 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then we usually have baseball around noon on Saturdays and usually another college football on, on Saturday afternoons around 2. So there's plenty of career mode content on the weekends and throughout the week. Tons of videos every single week on the Gamer Go to YouTube channel. Usually post about at least one video a day, but a lot of times there's two videos. So scroll through, check the channel page, check the subscription feed. You're likely to find another video or series that you enjoy. 
I will see you in the next one. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.